Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I have spent too many dollars, too many, on clothes. But you know what? I wear them, so I don't really care. Do I have a problem? Yes. It benefits you though. It also benefits me through the commission links, you know what I mean? Anyways, so um, today I have Abercrombie Revolve and Lululemon haul, and I will have links to absolutely everything down below. For reference, I am 5'10", and I weigh anywhere from like 132 to 135-ish pounds. Um... My first mistake was putting this outfit on first. And you might say, why is that? Well, number one, this neck is toy. And I have makeup on. Number two, I'm wearing latex, latex leather pants with no underwear. But let's get into the video. Okay, so outfit number one. I got that. This is all Abercrombie stuff. We'll do Abercrombie first. And I'll tell you if I change the brands. As per usual, everything will be linked down below. This first top I saw and I was like, that's a gorgeous top. Like, for any time of the year. Like, I just love a mock neck. It's not tight, thank God, because there's nothing worse than a tight, like, mock neck shirt. Um, the sides are a little bit lower, so I will have to change my bra with this um, or something. I don't really know. But I was thinking, like, this for Christmas or Friendsgiving, Thanksgiving, whatever your heart desires with a blazer over it. Are you kidding me? Shh. Done in. I got this in a size extra small. It also has, like, the cinched... Um, sides so hopefully you guys will be able to see the little cinch detail i just think it's really flattering and then i got these pants i always size up in my leather pants because there's nothing worse than a tight leather garment you'll be sweating and dying so anyways these i got in a size four long i usually wear a two long in jeans um i love these pants i love the shade of brown that these are like it's just a really pretty like a ready brown shade so hopefully you guys will be able to see that um i die for them i think they're really cute let me tell you something about um, latex pants. Never once did anybody say they were flattering. Where's my butt? You let me know. You let me know whenever you find it because I, I don't... Um, she's non-existent in these pants. Okay. I don't have a big butt anyways, unfortunately. But, like, nevertheless, that's that. I feel like this top is really flattering. I love the way that it looks on my silhouette. Um, these pants are adorable, etc. We're moving on. We're making time. I kept the same pants on, honestly, because it looks cute with this. But, too, I'm not going to be changing out of these pants 97 times. This is probably my favorite sweatshirt that I own that's not a Nina Bing. It is just, like, this perfect oversized sweatshirt. I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit longer. Um, I knew that it was cropped. And so I was like, if I get a small, it's not going to be, like, it's not going to have the fit that I want. So I got the medium. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. It is the softest sweatshirt that I own. I actually saw this on Influencer's tiktok or instagram stories one it's and it was kara lauren um she's like a fitness person she has such cute clothes she's beautiful she has cute kids she has a cute husband go her you know what i mean so this is what it looks like it's just adorable like it's cute with leather pants and a cute pair of sneakers it's cute with jeans and sneakers it's cute with jeans and boots it's cute with activewear it's just a adorable top i love it i feel like the style of it is very much so me the heather gray is a perfect heather gray shade i live for it i live for it like that's just so cute you know also i'm not gonna try these on because i don't feel like it, there's like a real reason for me to try them on um but i got another pair of the patent leather pants and this is like in a gray beige shade it's literally like a grayish you know what i mean beautiful stunning there she is in all her glory grayish pants this is also what the bottom of them looks like so it's not like it's a straight leg but it's a little bit tapered which i find to be flattering Okay, so next, this is just a little basic. This is a waffle knit tee. Hopefully you guys can see. It's just a waffle knit tee. I got this in a size extra small. Um, my only thing is, like, it's a little short on my arms. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little, like, short. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to fit that way. Like, it's supposed to be, like, a little short arm moment. But I'm not sure that I'm living for it, um, to be honest with you. I love the shade of it. It's a very pretty charcoal gray color. It pulls a little bit of blue, so it's... Um, flattering like it's a very flattering tone and shade but I don't know that I'm loving it the white one that I got is literally the exact same except this one's cropped this the white one's cropped it's right here let me show you so it's like got a cut off which I love it's the exact same thing it's the Abercrombie um, AF cozy but for some reason I got this the one that I'm wearing in extra small and I got this one in the small Okay, so my hair is crazy from, like, changing a thousand times. But this is what the white one looks like. And I like it about a thousand times better. It's actually long enough on the arms and fits really well. It's just, like, the perfect little cropped white long sleeve tee that's um, waffle knit. So you get a little bit of 
something different, you know, rather than just like your everyday white t-shirt. Adds a little bit of something that looks cute with sweatpants, looks cute with stuff like this. You can tuck it in, you can dress it up if you want, wear it under a blazer, under a jacket, under a cardigan. You can just have it as your t-shirt and wear alone, cute belt, accessories, etc. Um, I love this though, and I got this one in a small, and I got the other one in an extra small, and this one, the other one, it makes me think that the other one is like, um, faulty. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's just a faulty product. I'm not really sure. But this waffle knit, we die for. Ask me how many of these cardigans I own. The answer is 97. How many more will I buy? 187. Maybe more. I don't know. Whatever. If a cardigan, if I could be a cardigan, I would be this one. You know what I mean? I feel like it goes with absolutely everything. There's nothing you can't wear this cardigan with. Try and tell me. You're wrong. I also picked it up in cream because if I like it, I'm just going to buy it in another color. Um, so I picked it up in cream. Here she is. Equally as stunning. I got an extra small in both of them. This is the highest quality cardigan that I own. And I own the like $230 cardigans from Aritzia. Because I'm a psychopath. These are better than them. Well, I don't know if they're better. But like nevertheless, especially for the price. Stunning, amazing, great quality. Lovely, lovely cardigans. This is screaming Thanksgiving. This is screaming don't wear your stretchy pants. So, you don't eat as much. So that you don't hate yourself later on. You know what I mean? This is what this is giving. This is like a Christmas Day sweater to me. It's not anything... I would never wear this together, first of all. Let me back up and say... Anything that's like open hem, I struggle to style anyways. I'm more so like something cropped, etc. That's why if I was wearing this, I would most definitely have to tuck it in or wear it with a tighter pair of pants. You never, for style reference, want to wear anything like this. It's going to make you look wider than you actually are. Like, here's my waist like you know you don't want to wear anything that's like straight on straight unless you are wearing a, a jacket with it but anyways it's a beautiful sweater like it's an absolutely gorgeous sweater i thought it would be itchy any sweater that's around my neck is a little annoying just because it's like choking me out this one's not tight at all it's double lined up here it's not tight it's a mock neck so it's um well i guess technically it's a turtleneck but it's a mock neck style if that makes sense it's beautiful. I got this in a size small. So, really pretty, lovely color. I feel like the silhouette is really pretty as well. The tag is offending me. Um, just a cute little sweater. That's that. I am really tall, so if you are shorter, it's going to hit you, obviously, a little bit longer. It does cover my butt. Cute. This is one of the, like, um, softest sweaters that I own. My nose is running. This is one of the softest sweaters that I own, and I love the style. It's got a split hem on both of the wrists, and then also has a split hem down here, which I just said I didn't like, but I like whenever it's cropped. If it's cropped and has a split hem, it's cute. It, like, makes, it works. It works on everybody's body type, but if it's long, it's just not a vibe, but it's super, super soft. It has a ribbed sort of detail, but it's very, um, settle so it's not you like you would look at it and be like oh my gosh it's ribbed but I just love the sleeves like I love that they come over your hands a little bit more it's very elegant and classy um, very classy sort of vibes and then you have a beautiful neckline it's just beautiful like I truly die for this sort of sweater I feel like it's very fitted elegant classy it comes in nicely like around your chest and your waist but then flows out a little bit it's just a cute everyday sweater jeans leather pants skirt whatever it is it's cute. It's so very soft and comfy. I wore it yesterday and it was like 20 degrees and it kept me really warm. So it's nice. Okay, hear me out. I would never, never in a billion years pair this together. Not if my life depended on it. But for the sake of the video, I was like, these are the last Abercrombie pieces I have. So I'm just going to throw it on. Also, you can see my bra. Shut up about that. Um, I wanted one of these skirts for so long from Aritzia, but they were completely sold out and they're still sold out. Like they're not shipping till January 10th or February, like something. Um, this one's a little bit longer, like it's giving Pilgrim, it's giving not what needs to be gave, to be honest with you. So I think like maybe if I had on black boots, like a high um, boot up here, it would look better. But like this, the silhouette, like it's very big, the skirt is, I could uh, use an extra small for sure. So it would be more so flattering. I don't really know what's going on here. But this top, I thought it was going to give like Olympic gymnast sort of vibes. And in a way, it does. In a way, it's like, do you, are you a gymnast for the University of Georgia? Go Bulldogs, you know. Um, but at the same time, you know, I don't, I don't, I, it's kind of a vibe. It's kind of sexy. It's kind of like wear that with black leather pants and feel some type of way about yourself. You know, I don't know. I think I might keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. I like it. Okay, we're keeping it. 
Um, that's that. We love the little mesh detail. I will obviously have to wear a strapless bra or just like sticky boobs with this. But the mesh on it's just really cute. I feel like it's an elegant, classy detail. It's cute, sexy at the same time. This skirt is indeed giving. I've got to go turn the butter and milk the cows. So it's going to be a no for me. It's going to be a no. Mm -mm. Okay, so these pants are cargo pants from Abercrombie. Um, I need y'all's help to decide whether I like these or not. I got these in a too long. I feel like I could have done a four because they squish my butt. I didn't tuck that in. Don't you dare judge me. Um, but they squish the heck out of my butt. Like, it gives me Cracker Barrel vibes. Like, cl Cracker Barrel employee vibes. Like, you gotta wear the khaki pants. And I can't tell if they're cute khaki pants or if they're so tight on my butt that it's not cute. So, I don't really know. Also, they're cargo, and they give cute cargo vibes, but they give, like, classy cargo vibes. You know what I mean? I think I just need to size up. Like, I just need to size up in the pants. Um, they're also a little tight on my quads. So, that's that. But do we like them? Like, do we think they're cute other than that, you know? Also, the long, the too long, is not that long. Like, there's my ankle. What's going on? Anyways, so that's all the Abercrombie stuff. We just did all of that. Oh, wait, I have a bathing suit. I'm not putting this bathing suit on. Don't even ask me to. Don't even ask me to. But this is what it looks like. Um, I think I am going to keep this. I love Abercrombie's bathing suits. They just fit me really well. So, also, this color's to die for. Like, a cobalt Kentucky blue. That's beautiful. And then I got a small in it and a small in the bottoms as well. If I can get these, these puppies undone. And they are not high-waisted. They're just high leg, but not in a not flattering way. It's not like the 2020, like, super high-waisted, cheeky sort of vibes. Like, it's a very classy look. Um, this is what the bikini looks like. Like I said, like it's it. I guess also where my body is so long, it doesn't... I'd say they hit me, like, right here. Like, the bottoms hit me here, and then it goes around the hip, and then... On, oh, you can't even see. Onto the tush. But it's not, like, super tight or, like, unflattering or anything like that. But I just love the color um, of this, and I think it's really cute, really pretty. So I probably will be keeping this. This is the stuff I got from Revolve. Revolve sent me things. Can you all believe that? Are you shook to your core? I'm, oh wait, I'm spinning this camera around. I'm shook to my core. My literal life goal was to have like PR sent to me by Revolve. I don't think you all understand. I'm thrilled to be alive. They sent me PR. I also did buy some things, so like, you know, but I have a discount or I don't have a discount, but I have um, a link with them. So you guys can like shop through my link and shop all my Revolve favorite favorites. So that's exciting. And then I'm going to like show you the Lululemon stuff. I'm not going to try all my Lululemon stuff on because a lot of it's in the laundry. I've been wearing it, but I will link down below all the Lululemon stuff that I bought. And then if you all want like a full Lululemon video, I can do that too. So, okay. So, wait. Okay, so let me preface by saying that I've been wanting a pair of um, shiny pants since they became a trend on the runway from like this past New New York Fashion Week. I've been wanting a pair of these pants. The Rag and Bone ones, I really wanted. They are $500. Um, so I bought these. These are the Good American ones. They squish your butt, again, like no other. Like, do I look like I've wrapped my body in tight tin foil? Yes, I do. They're also just, like, tight here. Like, I just don't think this is very flattering um, at all. Like, they just are not flattering pants. They're also, like, mid-rise, which is fine with me. Like, I don't have a problem with, like, mid-rise pants. Um, but this is what, where they hit me, and I'm 5'10". You know what I mean? Like, they're just not... They're just not everything I was living for, but whatever. But this cardigan, I do live for. This is so pretty. What is this brand? Is it the shop we were what? No, it's Weekend Stories. Sorry, this is a Weekend Stories cardigan. I love the detail on the sleeve, the cable knit detail. I think it's beautiful. It's very, very comfortable. I love how it's a balloon sleeve. Um, I like to leave my cardigans open at the bottom. I just think it's cute and flattering. I think this is cute. You can do like an off-the-shoulder moment. Someone's calling me. Am I being called? Yes, my friend Jordan's calling me. Sorry. Um, cute off-the-shoulder moment. Like, it's just adorable. So, that's that. Okay, I could no longer wear those pants. Like, I just could not do it. So, I put on these. These are the other Abercrombie pants that I was telling you guys about. The little, like, grayish color. Again, squish the butt. Uh, this sweater, though, I saw this. and I, Why am I holding this camera like this? I saw this, and I was like, that is such a cute, classy sweater. I love these, like, old money tennis sort of vibes. 
I saw this on Revolve, and I was like, that's cute. You guys know how I feel about the split hand. We've talked about it. But the back, ciao. Are you kidding? What is my hair doing? Anyways, I just think it's so cute. I got this in a size extra small. It's really cute, really flattering. You can layer up some gold necklaces if that your heart desires. Whatever, whatever you like. I just love it. I think it's really cute. It's versatile, cute with jeans, um, cute with leather pants, whatever. It's just cute. For me personally, it's going to be a sweatsuit. It's going to be a sweatsuit every time. Why are the sleeves doing this? Calm down. Anyway, this is the Mayfair sweatsuit. This is, um, just says empathy. It says empathy on the front. It's huge. Like it's literally so big. And then empathy down the side of the pants. Does it look like a team sort of sweatshirt? Yes. I don't, I can't decide if I like the sleeves on this or not. It's kind of giving football. Am I a football player? You know, am I going to jack you up? I don't really know. Is it cute? And it's like, oh, that's such a cute little, like, sweatsuit she's wearing. Or is it like, what the crap? I love this, um, little patch on the, on the sleeve that says always. I love sweatsuits like this because I like to dress them up. You know, like, I like to put jewelry with them. Wear them with a cool pair of shoes. If I had a pair of orange Jordan 1s or orange Dunks, that'd be, <gasps> yeah, so I would love that. But I don't. So, anyways. The quality of the sweatsuit, though, is phenomenal. I don't like it any better than my white, white fox. Like, you guys know I live, breathe, and die for white fox. Um, I would love to do another collaboration with them. Their clothes send me to the moon. I purchased their clothes on my own with my own discount code. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just love this. I think it's, I think it's cute, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if these shoulders are like, it's just a really thick material. Like you could not wear this unless it was really cold outside. But like I said, I'm five foot 10 and this, the length of the pants is long enough for me and it never happens. So hooray for that. Okay, so these are the last items that I have. This sweatshirt, I don't think I'm going to keep that last sweatsuit. I just, for how expensive Mayfair is, I was just like, I'm not in love with it. So I don't really want to keep it if I'm not in love with it. Um, this is the Mayfair sweatshirt. I actually saw Sammy Clark wearing this and I was like, I love that so much. And I ordered it from Revolve. I got mine in a size medium, small medium. I think it's a small medium. And then here are the Ready to Rulu. Is that what these are called? Ready to Rulu? Yeah, Ready to Rulu HR jogger from Lululemon. I got mine in a size six. That's what size the model was wearing, and so that's what size I picked up. Um, I like these. I think these are really flattering joggers. I love the, like, stretch of the material of them. I have the um, Lazy, I think that's what it's called, like, Lazy Jogger from Lululemon that I got um, last week. And they're a little bit thicker. They're more of, like, a sweat paint material. These are high rise, which I love. Oh, that's what the HR meant. That makes sense. These are high rise. They have a thicker band, but it's not, like, tight at all. Then you can have a drawstring waist. Um... Like I said, I'm five foot ten, and they come down to my ankles. This is what it looks like from the side. You can see they're a little bit tighter on like my hamstrings and like leg area. Um, this is really cute though. Like I'm going over to Chase's house after I get done filming and get done with my work, and I'm probably gonna wear this exact outfit. Like it's just cute, comfy, cozy, throw on and go sort of vibes, and I really like it. So that's that. Um, I also got these in a in the gray shade right here um exact same pants i just got them in gray because i was like i want to have a pair of gray joggers to wear all the time these to me are like very athletic-y joggers like just throw on and go they're very thin so not going to be great for like super cold weather then i'm actually just going to show you the other lululemon items i got because honestly i'm not wanting to put them on this is a really cute little top it's like a beautiful jade green i hope the colors um, showing on that and that is the all it takes long sleeved ribbed Nulu. I got it in a size four usually in Lululemon I'll wear leggings in a size four and then I size up in like joggers and stuff and then bras I wear a size two or four um, but it has this really cute ruching on the side it is a little bit tighter on the arms like it's more of a fitted design and then I got this the scuba um, what is this called the scuba oversized half to half zipped hoodie and so I got it in this really pretty blue color. It's got the Lululemon sign up here. And then this is what it looks like. It is cropped. Um, like it's just pretty cropped on me, but it, it's really cute. I love the little detail up here. I think it's adorable. My only complaint about this is that the hood is so heavy. So where this is like so low, there's not a lot of fabric to keep it held down. So it kind of pulls, pulls back. I feel like I'm always having to tug on the front of these, the scubas. Um, but I specifically love this color. Like you guys know, I love blue. So that's that. As far as everything else that I got from Lululemon, let me turn this around. 
As far as everything else I got from Lululemon, I will leave it linked in the description box below because like I said, I got a ton of stuff. And there's one particular long sleeve top that I live, breathe, and die for from Lululemon. And it is, I can't remember the exact name of it, but I love it so much. I ordered it in five colors and like all the other colors are out of stock. I bought it in person and I got a black one and I think another color. But then, and I got black, white, cobalt blue, baby pink, um, and another, another shade. I don't, I don't remember, but either way, it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it so much. So I want you all to pick that up if you are interested in it. I wear it like, yes, as like athleisure or like whenever I'm working out, but I also just wear it layered under stuff or like I wore it alone the other day. Like they're just really nice, really soft t-shirts and I will wear them forever and ever. And like, I want backups of them. They're so good. So that's that. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for using my links and, like, supporting me. Because that's quite literally, like, how I have money to, like, buy hauls to do for you all. And, like, literally my livelihood. You know what I mean? Like, I appreciate you all using the links and um, being supportive. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I will always get back to you guys. But, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a fabulous day.